This is all I got. This is all I got. Don't take my baby, okay? I've been, I've been away from my baby for two months. I just want my baby. I just want my baby, and no one's listening because no one's in the courtroom. I'm not doing anything illegal. I'm not doing anything illegal, but I don't want nobody. Oh, my God, am I doing something illegal by doing this video, or is this, am I protected by the, the, the first right amendment or the amendment? Don't take my baby. I'm at $13,000 a month. What more do you want from me? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, what we should do, though, let me tell you what we should do. Though. What we should do is we should talk a little bit before the theme music comes on. That's a good idea I had. Like that pre-production? You know? It's like a little, it's just like kind of like an outtakes, you know, like bloopers, pre-bloopers, bloopers. Whoa, welcome to the Best Friend Weekend Podcast, man. It's your man Aldo Nice. It's your boy Raj Smooth. Raj Smooth is in the house today. And look, we got, we got two other special guests Raj in, Smooth is in always town. in the house. It's so weird for you to say that. Well, you're not, oh. Well, I guess in the house is more of like As a, if we don't have others in the house. Well, it's a colloquialism to say something's like in the house. Like this, like... Like Big T is in the house tonight. La, na, 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 but that's to say, flip, Big T wasn't in the house last night. You know, like Big T wasn't in the house last night, but he here tonight. Crazy part is, you know what I'm saying? Raj Move always here. <laughs> we okay. So my apologies. Raj Move is more than like Raj Move live in the house, so we don't have to necessarily say he in the house. Yeah, you for can the call party. me Tamamine. <laughs> Come on, so man. We got... show some respect to the rest of y'all visitors. Okay, we got some visitors in town for the okay. for, for Aldo okay. Nice weekend, man. We got um we got Graham Starr and Rumble Williams in the house. What's y'all up, let y'all boys up? um introduce yourselves. It's your boy Graham Starr thirty. You know me, Bruce Banner ninety two, Larry Lowe, Lawrence. One time, we just call you Rumble Williams, though, man. We we gave you that nickname. That's the nickname we're gonna call you, Clarence. Clarence. Clarence but Rumble. 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 But why that man can't have three nicknames? Los got like four. four five it's your it's your boy Los, your mama's favorite uncle. C A P. Aka Buffalo Knicks. <laughs> the, the Buffalo Knicks. <laughs> and this podcast is brought to you by Richard Davis. Where you at, Patty? Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to get him on here, man. Look, I think it's I think it's only right, Raj. Like um, they they say why we started a podcast, and you know what the answer is? It's because our phone conversations are funnier than most people's um television shows so we decided to bring it to the mass but the other question is why do we call it best friend weekend and ain't this a, the, the best time to tell that story right now why we call this podcast and call us best friend weekend sure is <laughs> we're not hanging out with them boys you know you know we decided to alienate <laughs> alienate ourselves from them boys <laughs> so as the story goes um Graham star 30 was and still is one of our mutual best friends. Raj, best friend since uh, elementary school. SMR, Sugar Mill Road. Shout out to Sugar Mill Road, boys. I'm, I'm not going it's a little bit early in elementary school, school, but you know. And um, obviously, Graham I high five my nigga in the nursery room. <laughs> Smurf juice. And obviously, um, Graham Star is uh, my little cousin. So he been there, you know, day one. And um, me and Raj didn't always necessarily like each other or see eye to eye. I was a bully cousin is what he said. Um, a child bully. As no, that's to say that that wasn't true. That's one of yours. What he said, but I didn't think so. I didn't think I was. What you was doing? I was not a child bully. I was just older and more, uh, you know, better at, than y'all at and the more time. Bully. <laughs> more bully <laughs> from the bully pulpit, cutting. But um, so yeah. Anyway, me and Raj were cool, but it took until Graham Star decided to take his talents to China. He actually moved and went to China, and. Uh, in response to that, where me and Raj didn't want him to leave, we decided to make our own holiday without our mutual best friend and call it Best Friend Weekend. So it was really a slug towards Graham Star. Shots be like, fired. Shots fired. Yeah, yeah. Fuck that, boy. We could have our own good time. And that morphed into something else. So every time you hear us out saying Best Friend Weekend Part 1, Part 2, Part 20, it all started with Graham Star being in China, being a Chinese um, 
This podcast is brought <laughs> brought to you by Yuli Guriel. Uh, <laughs> that boy came at you, Darvish, mad wicked with the slant eyes Chinese thing, boy. <laughs> Shout out all my niggas in China. <laughs> They go, they, but they did not suspend. Ain't that crazy though? They didn't suspend him for the World Series. They said they're gonna wait till next season to suspend that boy. For that's being- some real, that's some real thoughtful stuff to do. You know, Girl, like, like, like don't you, don't you think mm-hmm. like, like if a if a nigga gonna be suspended for one game, let me choose what game I'm gonna be suspended for. I'm gonna, wow. I want to, I want to be suspended when we play the Browns. <laughs> right, that's what they're doing with Zeke Elliott. Yeah. They gonna let him. Uh, I want to be suspended on the back end of the season. God, yeah, stupid. I mean, imagine if they did that with Draymond last year. Like when Draymond kicked um kick old boy, they would have or two years ago, they would have been like, Draymond, uh, you can get the next season. You can wait till next season to start your suspension. Fire. Boy, I mean that's exactly what it's champs. That's exactly what it's like I'm tired tonight anyway. I ain't feel like playing. So I'll take this game. Cause he from Saginaw, that's why you're doing that little Charles Rogers voice? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hop in that pill game. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so when we was in Vegas a couple of weeks ago, we got a message from Rumble. He called us out there. I was hanging out with this podcast is brought to you by Jay Harry and Blue Diamond. And we was out there for the fight, kicking it big. And, um, little Rumble called and said, Hey man, y'all boys is in the small town nigga hall of fame. That was the the quote he said. (laughs) I'm, I'm curious, Lawrence, what makes the qualifications to be in the small town nigga hall of fame? Okay. Small town hall of fame. It don't have to be niggas though. Niggas got niggas no, got, no, uh, definitely not. Definitely stage not. fright and shit, man. The criteria is you have to be <laughs> from go. a town, <laughs> and there are specific qualifications that consist of a town. <laughs> not too big, not like oh, we had ten high schools. It's kind of big, you know, two hundred thousand people. Mm, that's not a town. That's not a town. That's not. That's not. That's not. That's not. <laughs> You gotta be from a little village. I'm yeah, you have to be from a village. Village of parks type shit. <laughs> definitely, definitely. That's one criteria. Another one is you cannot still be a resident of the village. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing. Another okay. thing is you cannot move from village to village. <laughs> <laughs> you have to spread your royal oats. <laughs> so like things that could get you into the, you know, small town hall of fame is you start from maybe a town of what? Under 100,000? But you found yourself in a, a metropolitan area, moving and shaking. Like, looking awesome. But socially, you look awesome. Like, like damn, he's really like, damn, that's Lil' L? That's, that's from, Rod Smooth? From, from Bell place? place? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> do I bury Rod? Oh, the hell? Sense. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We used to shoot with him in basketball. Oh, damn. Okay. It's levels to this. It's Makes levels. Sense. Makes sense. I think I think when you're in a small town Hall of Fame, you gotta like they gotta see you. You gotta have stamps on your passport, off top. Hmm. They gotta see you in different places doing different things. Like he said, you like you like you gotta have a presence about you that people say, "Oh man, look them boys doing something." Like like for instance, what's his name? Um, Loyal Honor Trust. That's small town nigga Hall of Fame all day. <laughs> I mean, whenever you see him in some, in, in, but that man's in, still a resident of his small town. Girl. Is he though? Oh yeah. He's a- I thought he lived in. Uh, oh, I thought he lived in Nine, San Francisco. Nine hundred block. <laughs> the bricks. <laughs> Project Living. Project Life. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. Still back there. Okay, so maybe he not. But the other criteria is that you know you always moving and shaking. I love seeing like somebody on um uh, like on a little island somewhere in in Jamaica and then bounce back and then Europe somewhere and I'm like oh damn that boy oh look. That make me feel like somebody's small town Hall of Fame writer. The coolest part about that shit is you never really know what they do. Like, what does <laughs> what does this nigga do to get money? Like, we know do? what that. Is. <laughs> Sometimes we know what they do. Yeah. Not <laughs> everybody, but is. most people we yeah. know what they do. <laughs> Some of them we know what they do. I think a good educated guess the as majority. to what they do. But the small you know, town Hall of Fame is like. It's a group that you should aspire to be if you're from a small town. Well, I mean, when you said it that day when we was at the um, at the Mayweather joint, me, Jay, and Blue, we were sitting back like, damn. Out, don't, Go ahead. don't shortchange yourself. Second Mayweather event. Oh, yeah. I, I was second Mayweather. Shout out. Shout out, yeah. I was second Mayweather fight that we attended. So when we when we got the call from from uh, from Rumble and he had the, the FaceTime, we all, we was cracking up that whole night. We was like, yeah, okay. We, we, we've been officially inducted into the small town Hall of Fame. 
I think I was at the time I was in Louisiana. You was. The weather wasn't as bad as Houston. One time for Houston, all the way around. We ain't gonna drop the gun, but one time for Houston. But y'all on the beach just lapping in the hamptons. What y'all drinking? Mojitos? Oh, what y'all into? <laughs> I don't know what y'all into, man. We was lapping in the hamptons. Like, what the fuck is the hamptons? Shit, right? <laughs> <laughs> we was at we was at rehab. We was at rehab, and we was just showing him the you know in the pool with with with, with the uh, rehab individuals, man, and just showing the whole event. So I mean, my whole point was we took that as a great a great honor to be inducted into the Small Town Hall of Fame by um, Rumble Williams. Do you feel like you already in the Small Town Hall of Fame? Or are you approaching that level? How do how you feel about yourself in that regard? Uh, ooh, that's a good one. I don't like two known horns, but I think if I look at my profile from <laughs> finishing uh what senior year seventeen to currently twenty five, uh, not quite. I'm not in the uh, Hall of Fame. But I'm like, I'm running it like he's, I'm not in the Hall of Fame, but he, I'm in the he's game. Still, he's still playing ball. I'm like still he's playing still, ball. He's still in the league. At a high yeah, level. Yeah. He's healthy. At a high level. He ain't retired yet. High level, not retired. I mean, Drew Brees is in the Hall of Fame, and he's still in the league. Right. So you saying you more like what? LaShawn McCoy? No, no. Not no. Shady Cut? No. Nah. He's more. I'm more of a, uh, let me, uh, <laughs> I feel like Mike Evans. Like, you my oh like I'm I'm like yeah like you like that young bull, three years nice. in the league that young bull like he, yeah. he okay. gonna be something okay that's a nice one I would feel it's funny a five hey, so you five just gotten, you just got in the league like. a five five cat takes the six five dude to be like oh my god <laughs> come on man sneak <laughs> on my five seven and a half sneakers I'm five eight on, hey man game, you should have said um Jose Altuve man that's the perfect <laughs> example that's what I think about every time I see you you know what I mean straight up man. <laughs> But hey, but them boys out here because it's my birthday, Aldo winning weekend. This podcast is brought to you by Aldo's Brewery, 3.5 ABV. It's going down. Just like that. Oh, we was talking, you know, I was talking to a dude in a barbershop yesterday and he said this. He was like, um, he said, How old you making? I told him. I don't want to date myself. I ain't gonna let y'all know how I am. I mean, y'all can figure out how old I am. It's Kevin Durant birthday, shout out. And um <laughs> dude in the barbershop was like two years older than me or a year older than me, and he was like, I said, I thought we was the same age because we graduated the same year. And that man mm-hmm. said, nah, um, I got held back. And then Nigga, he said, in the first grade. Niggas still say that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I, the secret was out. <laughs> I just want to know what that means, Clayton. Wow. I didn't know. I don't know if there's a such thing as being held back. <laughs> I mean, I but that time out. I think I haven't heard grade. that like in the longest. Usually like a sixth grader or seventh grader might use that or right, maybe right. a tenth grade like, oh, I should have graduated last year but I got held back in first grade. I thought it was I, something that the parents told their kids <laughs> to not make them feel bad, right? Like, I'm old enough to know I didn't get held back and I was just dumb as fuck. <laughs> like, but but how you how you dumb in the first grade? Like, what can you not do in the first grade to get held back? Huh? I don't know. Your teacher, tell us what first graders should know. Cutting, I would assume first graders should be able to like write their letters, cutting, and maybe like spell simple words like cat and dog and stuff, penmanship. Mm-hmm. They should be spelling maybe little short words. They should be able to add and subtract. Maybe even not even subtract. Maybe just add, cutting, and recall and basic. Like what? Two plus two type add? Not yeah, no. Yeah, two plus four, probably single digit addition. And you can't do that, you get held back? Cutting, that's what. That's evidently I thought what, in those early stages, that's like what? A parental type of. Called. Oh yeah, yeah. That means your mama. No, no offense. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to, I'm about to, I'm about to edit that out. No, no, no. It don't mean your mama. Shit. It just means you might not be getting some of that home. <laughs> that homework. That reinforcement. There you go. That I feel like ass. Your mom might have another job. I feel like if you got held back, you probably had oh. silver teeth as a kid too. <laughs> but time out. Like, I or is think. It just me? If you got held back, you had silver teeth. Probably. <laughs> you was bad as fuck. Like. I don't know, man. I, I I can't call it. I just thought that that was a little funny side story. The dude said he got held back. I mean, things like that happen, man. But uh, we we gonna we gonna party all weekend. We gonna try to turn this into a whole another thing. But check it out, man. I know y'all heard the intro, man. The intro we had one of our favorites of all time. Uh, the homie Tyrese Gibson. He's going through some stuff right now. Black tie. Black tie, man. He he going through a couple of things, man. Um, I don't know if y'all heard the story, but uh, some people they just, I just got put on game yesterday. They told me that basically his 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 ex wife is accusing him of like being abusive towards the daughter, a little girl. So um, while the court litigation is going on, they're not allowing him to see his daughter. So he's having like some kind of a mental breakdown. So instead of just kind of falling back, 
what he's been doing is sending um, like gifts to the school for his daughter. And he also flew a, uh, was it a blimp or a plane? I, I want to say like a plane with like the message. A, a little message streaming behind the plane that said, Daddy loves you. Um, album dropping November the, the 18th. Oh, Cop that, <laughs> Cop that the man's day. man's hot. What happened if it, if it was nap time? She didn't see it. It might have been that nap time. That sucks. <laughs> he spent nine, all his money for sc- nothing. Scheduled to be in theaters. <laughs> um, but yeah, either way, so he's doing all of these type of things. And then obviously he had this rant that's going on online. I mean, that sucks, man. What do y'all think about Tyrese in his most recent scenario? I think we need to put it in perspective first. Is it, is he guilty maybe of what he's been accused of, or is his more of his ex wife a little salty? Oh, what, 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 you know, didn't he recently get remarried? I or? did see a picture online, and they was like big up in his new wife, talking about uh, like this is his, this is Tyrese's new wife. She's got like a master. She's smart. Yeah. She makes a whole bunch of money. Like they was really really big up oh, in his I new relationship. Too. But this brings me to my next point. Do you think he told her this? I love you, girl. You got my daughter. You're probably going to be my wife. <laughs> you want me to be honest? <laughs> you, <laughs> these other hoes is tricks. <laughs> I make love to you. I want to be with you. I fuck other girls occasionally. But that's just what I do. You, know, you think you think you make it they, down to he like probably said something style? like, uh, I'm out here telling these hoes the truth. I lie because I love you. Yeah, like, <laughs> you think that's what happened here, or is he guilty? Event, <laughs> girl, you know I love you. I, I don't know what he do. I don't know what kind of relationship he still got with his with his ex, but um, yeah, that's crazy though. Like, he, he's probably full in character. He having like a little breakdown. He very Orlando Brown esque right now. Nah, I don't know about that. Was well, he the crying because of the amount or because of <laughs> is it what thirteen or? 18? Oh yeah, yeah. Like, you heard him. He said he's paying them um fillions a month. I can't take it no more. Thirteen k. Was this That's a crazy. point? Maybe but to get that reduced? Maybe I don't I'm know if you heard the none. latest news. The latest news is is the charges were dropped. So <laughs> oh, where are they? We good. Yeah, this morning charges were dropped. So uh, so he good right now. For, until he, he get good. back online doing some crazy shit. I thought it was funny I mean, he that... he might be thankful when he get back online. Well, I thought it was funny that, like, two people I saw, like, helping, like, speaking out to him this week was Gilbert Arenas and um, Michael Blackson. <laughs> I saw Michael Blackson. You know, they, 50 had his run, too. You know, 50 well, 50 probably on got jokes. on his head. But th- them boys didn't have jokes. Them boys were just, like, cutting you, making your, your, your case... Way worse by being online looking crazy because they're gonna be playing this back in court and you gonna look very crazy. Like stop it! And both them boys like went on his social media and said that. I wonder if celebrities actually read what other celebrities say, even yeah. if they don't know each other. Definitely. I'm, I I thought Michael Blackson. He said he had a meeting with uh, other dark skin niggas and they <laughs> traded Tyrese. <laughs> <laughs> to for Steph Curry, for Steph Curry and uh, and Drake, and Drake. Yeah. <laughs> so he was very much so going out his neck. Like it's still Michael Black. Yeah, he, he was. <laughs> but can we talk about just for a second, just the visual of it all? Me and Graham star on the way here from uh, the good old boot one time for Louisiana. Shout out Louisiana. This podcast uh, oh, is brought yeah. to you by the great state of Louisiana. Black and go to the Super Bowl. <laughs> but uh, we just was running about how just the visual of him. Just being in the camera crying, like, dude, you're talking to a phone. Like, it just looks crazy. Yeah, like, what what possesses you to go from, like, I'm feeling away to grabbing my phone and crying on camera and, like, Like, I'm just going to let the world, it. like, just, what, 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 what are you trying to accomplish? What's the end goal? Like, what's positive affirmations from the fans? <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know. Pub or? Raj, what you think? Why did, why did somebody do that, though? I think that there was a great, uh, a great takeover of the internet of people the age of Tyrese at one point in time, and they don't know how to use the internet. They don't know exactly <laughs> what it's Jones. for. Joe Jones. <laughs> that's what that's what came to my mind. Man, don't know how to use the internet. Like he don't understand that it's not for like to like spread your emotions. Like <laughs> people that know how to use Facebook and and Instagram don't do that. Don't do that kind of stuff. But also, I've seen people, I've seen, I don't know, this is like, and this would be the stupidest thing to me, and, you know, shout out to every, you know, whatever, rest in peace, 
but never yeah. ever post a picture of your dead relative in the casket on Facebook and you know put rest in peace on it. <laughs> like that's an example t- of not knowing how to. Okay, use but Facebook how about and Instagram. so? How close can you get? Can you do what DBZ was doing last week? This podcast is brought to you by DBZ. Second funeral in two weeks and posting pictures like with his suit on, like like shock. I'm I'm shocked at this funeral. You mm. post a picture of yourself. Yeah, I, honestly, like I posted a picture f- at my, of myself from the funeral. And DBZ also posted a picture of himself with the deceased relative. That's cool. Like, oh, you know, I mean, not before he was, was deceased. Okay, okay. okay. But, <laughs> but don't, don't, do, don't do stuff like that. Like, it's not, that's not what it's for. Like, I just feel like there should be a how to use social media handbook that we should hand out to every, like all the baby boomers. Hmm. Like all the, everybody that's not, that's not a millennial. <laughs> I could go with that, and 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 going and going forward, of course, because them motherfuckers not true. Because I well, I mean, fifty, sixty year olds is notorious for being way doing way too yeah. much. Yeah, I think these are the type of people that say the bullshit in the comments, and then they got to explain to their manager come Monday. I think mm-hmm. these are the type of people that might not get parameters of like you just can't. It's no like Roger putting them in that category of the people who go click on who click on links that say click on this to see um Angel Jolina Angelina Jolie naked and then end up with bugs on their computer and with their password hack. He putting them on like the people oh, that, who was born man. in nineteen seventy five role. People who take but he was as born in nineteen seventy eight. Was it? So he not that far but Oh, yeah, I did not, not know that. Tyrese, I did not know Black Side was old, that old. Bro. Yeah, he ain't he ain't no young cat. Okay, so he probably is just a few years. Like, that boy had a dial-up connection, like, after he was out of college. Like, over 21 years old, dial-up connection. I think he I think he had the internet. I just think his comp- I think he's had more than one computer. But he was damn near born in 79, because we see right now he was born on December 30th, so don't try but to um, play us. He gets no pass, I think, for that, because he's been <laughs> in front of the camera forever. So I feel like he should know proper etiquette. He, I feel like he has a publicist. I mean, you get to a good point, man. He's been in front of the camera for whatever, man. I don't want to just harp on the bad things about Tyrese. Let's talk about the good. What was your favorite, favorite Tyrese movie, man? And I don't know who wants to start. Who got a favorite Tyrese movie that they're going to come out the Now, you could come to me last because I've already looked at the movies and I know what all your niggas going to say. So you know, I'm just go ahead. Okay, okay. okay. So, mutual, Tim, you got it? It's Graham. I really feel like it's a mutual favorite movie because it. They just don't make movies like this anymore. It gotta be Jody Joe. I fucks with Jody Joe. Baby boy. Baby huh? boy. A R and B type nigga like myself. Uh, but a good movie nonetheless. John Singleton, I think, produced it. A hell of a movie. And I'm not a huge fan of Fast and the Furious movies, so definitely, definitely for me, it gotta be Baby Boy. Can't take uh, other niggas' movies, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the. You know, if you never heard of Tyrese. Baby boy, like that's I would suggest it, like that's flame. Okay. Man's hot. <laughs> but that's your but, favorite? Uh, no, no, no. I might have to go to uh maybe Transformers because of uh just the plot. That's her classic. But that's just one I'm throwing up. I hope I didn't take nobody's. But I gotta go waist deep. Okay. That plot was too thick. Megan good. Thick. Do I need to say more? Okay. Megan good. Uh, uh, Rumble, we are 100% in agreement. My favorite Tyrese movie is Waste Deep. It's not even, it's not even close, man. Um, but the thing I thought about when, when I thought about Waste Deep and I was like, okay, I remember Megan Good being super fine in that movie and, um, that boy Tanner down and being like, damn, Megan, Megan Good was, was bad. So I remember it a lot. But the other thing that distinctively I remember is that, um, the game's name in that movie was Big Meat. Y'all can Google that if you want. No homo. That man, that, no, I mean, I, I don't even know if we can say no homo. Because the game's um, Instagram page is called LA Confidential. And wasn't he the one who, like, every Friday was putting um, fine oh. nigga Fridays and sitting there butt neck, like, not butt neck, like but like gray sweats on. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like I'm going to show dick print every week. Nothing but lay mine every yeah, week. Eggplant. Eggplant. Eggplant Fridays. I think the game oh, might have even started that. that. Yeah. So. I think that might have been like a little subliminal cutting. They might have asked that if man I had what that he French bread, <laughs> If I had that French bread, I would have started Eggplant Friday a long time ago. <laughs> Just letting you know. Straight up. But I mean, I'm saying if I get to start a movie, if I get to be in a movie and they say, what you want your name to be, cutting? Big Meat cutting? Big Meat. <laughs> I I long didn't realize John. that was. Can I, I thought it was long Big John? Meat. Bam, Big Meat. That's, that's, that's M-E-A-T cutting. That's big extreme. Meat, cutting. Is, that's extreme. Yeah, Cutting, that's like that's like a little chick. That's like that's like um, what's her name? What's the what's the chick? Cardi B being in a movie called in her name. What's your name? Wet wet, wet cat. 
Cause like really Blat- blatantly obvious. Cause big meat. Cause people would talk. Oh, her name wet cat. Good pussy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's provocative. Name. to get some people going. Lemon. Cause his name should have just been Lemon. Cause right. but Lemon. My favorite. My favorite movie is uh, one hundred percent. Too Fast, Too Furious. It's my favorite one. <laughs> but I wanted to say that it's not a scene of movie, but I shot four brothers. And plus, I got a Chevelle that flip-flop full colors. <laughs> anyway. Four brothers was okay. Four brothers was four okay. Brothers was oh, yeah, that was a big I wanted to, if, y'all, if one of y'all niggas would have said a Fast and the Furious movie, I would have said Four Brothers just to be... Just to do that. Just to go against the grain. But Too Fast, Too Furious. And I watched it last night, so... There you Bro. go. <laughs> I like it. So I'm with it. So, okay, then that was his favorite, your favorite movie. What was your favorite song? Favorite Tyrese song? Do I get to start this one, too? If you want. I mean, I know what my... It's not even close for me, homie. Uh, Signs of Love Making. Okay. Are you that Zodiac freak? Come on, give me... You got to sing at least like a little piece of the ball for me, dog. That's, that's These how, are the signs nigga, of love making. You R&B, nigga? Because you the R&B, nigga. Sing a little bit. I'm a Capricorn. I came here to get managed. <laughs> Ooh, you know it's good. When I start speaking Spanish. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Signs of love making. Signs of love making. Oh. You know my taste. The name Rumble don't come for nothing. I'm a little roguish. <laughs> <laughs> what's your What's your favorite um Tyrese song? Oh, he don't even have one. He yeah, just, yeah, like that's the point. You don't like R and B music. Yeah, it's too rumble. Like, it's just... I thought you would have at least went with like the when he walked on the bus singing "Always Coca Cola." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cause I mean, it was just a little sensitive take on Coca Cola. But definitely, my favorite Tyree song was uh, "I Was Excited Cause I Was Fall Falling in Love with, with You." Yeah. Now that I've fallen, what, what am I going to do? Man, come on, man. You, you don't beat that. That's that man's best song, period. Guy, off top. Raj. Sweet lady. Uh, so, yeah, no, actually, that's crazy because, like, I have a favorite song, too. Uh, my favorite song, and I'm just looking it up right now because I forgot how many good songs this nigga got. He got hits. But oh, yeah, I'm, definitely. But I'm going back, and I'm going off the same CD that Tim... uh. That a Graham store got and uh, how you gonna act like that is probably how you gonna act. (laughs) No, you gotta sing, right? (laughs) How you gonna act like that? You know, Uh -uh. making love. I don't know. I don't know the word. word, Nobody said sweet lady. Nobody did say sweet lady. Sweet lady was like. Yeah, like, I know if Eric King was in here, he would say "Sweet Lady." Like you remember the the CDs you mis- used to make in college when you got something to the room? It was called like <laughs> "Fuck Mix" or something like that. That was "Sweet Lady" was definitely on that CD. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I could well, go Sweet with Lady that. Man. Wasn't on my CD. No, I, I wanted. I, I wanted. Knew, I knew some way better sex songs than "Sweet Lady." Yeah, "Sweet I was Lady." Playing. That's where you gotta make love and shit. I, I went. Well, I'm, I'm the. I was beat. playing it. Push it. I was playing push it inside. <laughs> <laughs> some hood, some webby. Sex is on my mind. I wanna love. You you Girl, love. give me that pussy. You must be used to me spending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nigga like Rumble Williams had webby. Give me that pussy. Yeah, okay, that's yeah. about right. That's about right. <laughs> that's about right. No, but I mean, I think that's funny that Raj brought that up because I think Tyrese is one of the top people, like like the Montel Jordans of the world, or like. The, the Monica, who's just got a plethora mm-hmm. of hits that when you go back and actually start looking at their catalog, you're like, damn, they made all that? I forgot they made all that. Like, he's one of them. Um, I was just going to see, and shout out, I, my other idea was going to be that Usher My Way video, but I don't think he actually sung in that. I think he was just dancing and he was the other dude. But, really? um Yeah. Didn't know that. Definitely. Yeah, no, he was the he was the, the guy Usher was battling, battle dancing in wow. My Way. Okay. Um, so, Raj, you said something about the Fast and the Furious. What's your favorite Fast and the Furious character? My favorite character? Yeah. 100% ludicrous um, on part two, on Too Fast, Too Furious. That's my favorite one. I got a, I got a, a speeding ticket going like 120 in a, in a pickup truck the night, the day after I saw that movie. Explorer Sport Track? Explorer Sport Track. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Do y'all got a favorite Fast fact, and the Furious person? That's my next Halloween. My next Halloween costume. Be him. Get a little... Yeah, that makes sense. From the Fast, Too Fast, Too Furious. Hmm. Um, I don't have a, a favorite uh, character on Fast and the Furious. I have a least favorite, and it is Tyrese. <laughs> <laughs> <By four. laughs> 
honestly, I don't know if I respect him so much as an actor, and especially not in Fast and Furious movies, because he makes jokes and he, he eats a lot. I don't get that connotation, so that's my least favorite character. I don't have a favorite character. <laughs> I love how y'all just picking up black people, okay? <laughs> I, um, I, I like the little why, Asian... I, I like the little Asian villain on Tokyo Drift, Cutting. Uh-huh. I really do. Even though Tokyo Drift was like the um, the Takashi. wackest movie. Takashi Cutting. was his name. Like, of all of them. But oh, if I had to say my favorite, I'd say Lil Bow Wow on uh, um, Tokyo Drift. Uh, uh, that is he? not the truth. What do you mean? That is not the truth. There's okay. no way that that should be Okay. If, I, if I'm telling the truth, Cutting, is it's, it's, uh, what his name was. They call him what, Toretti? Um, it's Vin Diesel, cut. Yeah. I like Vin Diesel. Vin Diesel? <laughs> I like yeah. I like Vin family. Diesel. Cut. Family first. <laughs> y'all might not. Y'all might. This one might throw y'all off. I'm gonna take it back to Too Fast, Too Furious. One time for Jaru. Right. Not Jaru. One time for Jaru. Murder. I, I like this little this little character. You know, the little street racer. Y'all you know effectively I mean? picked every black person that but, was in. <laughs> but hold up, if you didn't I don't know, think Jaru black, was no. in Too Fast Too Furious. Jaru was in The Fast and the Furious. <laughs> oh, Jaru was in the first one. I think Too Fast Too Furious. I want to say. Not they right? fussing. Watch. Huh? Y'all fussing now. Yeah, the first one is the first one is called The Fast and no. The Furious. Oh, okay. The second mm-hmm. one is called. Too fast, too furious. Can anybody name you the third it? one? Um, Tokyo Drift. Tokyo Drift. <laughs> three fast, three, three furious. furious. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all stupid. Fast five. <laughs> yeah, that is uh, the fate Good of the furious. <laughs> the furious make fillions. Spin- I know, they got all kind of different. That, and I like that one. <laughs> so they got a, a spinoff coming right now, right? With the Fast and the Furious, the Luke Hobbs movie. So that was another thing Tyrese was all up in uproar about because uh, Jason Statham and The Rock got their own movie like on the side now and they've been beefing in in, in, in the public about that. I don't really have a, a horse in that race. I don't really care with this fast family stuff, but uh, I actually like The Rock way better than I like Tyrese. Just FYI. He makes better movies. What's your favorite Rock movie? I think Tyrese... Five is fast, five fast. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a big... I'm not a big... I'm not a huge... I'm not a big, like, rock movie fan, so, like, my favorite, I'm going to say, is Ballers. Like, I watch Ballers religiously, okay. but I'm just not a big fan. My, in fact, mode. you know what? You know what? This is, my. This is like, half my podcast, so my favorite rock movie is WWF Rock. Oh, you <laughs> took mine. You took That's mine. That's what I fucks with. I don't, mine. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really fool with, with the rock movies too, too much. Okay, then change the whole subject. I'm I'm with that. I like wrestling rock way better than I like yeah, actor yeah, rock. Yeah. I like when he was calling people jabronis and like <laughs> fucking telling them come here smell what I'm cooking. With your candy ass. Finally, <laughs> the rock has come back. <laughs> Rudy poo candy ass. Okay. Yeah. But his little and journey is kind of amazing was, though. Like, it doesn't matter what your name yeah, is. You got a story. Like, it doesn't matter what your name is. Yeah. I, okay. I think we. I think rock. The rock is a cultural icon because of wrestling. Definitely mm-hmm. because of wrestling. And also, I wanna uh, I wanna throw a bone in this whole rock movie thing. I don't see how someone can complain. You literally got nine movies in a series, <laughs> and then they decide to do a spinoff with the highest paid actor in Hollywood right now. And you mad? You mad, bro? Yeah, bro. You got nine <laughs> movies. Like how lucky? How lucky is Tyrese? Like they could have picked. Any dark nigga could have been Wesley Snipes, you know, like playing next to Brian. It could have been a whole, I'm not, not literally Wesley Snipes, but it could have been a bunch of different people that could have played that role that Tyrese played. But Tyrese played that role and got nine movies out the deal. So that's like, so that's like if Lat- Latoya Lucky got mad because after a whole bunch of Destiny's Child albums for number one CDs, Beyonce was like, let me just go do one and then I'm going to come back and do more with y'all. And she was like, nah, nah, we got a new exactly. Destiny's Child album supposed to drop. B2K or Marion. Yeah, Same right? Yeah, <laughs> you can't be Ride mad at Pleasure Pete. Man. <laughs> Ride that coattail, because that Luke Hobbs movie might have Tyrese in it. You know what I'm saying? If he, would, if he wouldn't have if he wouldn't have been messing with his money, he might have been in that movie. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hmm. He would have had a cameo. He would have had a small cameo. Like, Tyrese will never... Like, Tyrese is... You know, he was born in 78, so his... He's on the backside now, like you know he. Unless he gonna play, like he'll be maybe a good old man actor. I don't know, but as far as for right now, he'll never reach the rock status. A good I'm sure old Tyrese man is actor. probably like he. Tyrese might be like three hundredth on the list whenever the rock is first. So yeah. you, you might as well ride the coattail. You might as well just try to get a little bit better because of the rock. 
And also, too, that's kind of like The Rock's pocket, you know, like that the action figure. You know how kind of like Angela Bassett, it always plays like the distraught black woman in like every movie. Loretta <laughs> Devine. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? She's so like just every that movie crying and that strong <laughs> black woman in every movie. Like, Rock is there for the action movie. You need Rock. He's that action figure. Like, he's hot. Yeah, I agree. And then you I put it with, with yeah. No, that's I, what the money is. You need to like spin like it if all. There's someone, if there's someone that's marketable that can carry on the Fast and the Furious franchise of movies, it would be The Rock, right? Or John Cena. Or Booker or T. Jason Statham. <laughs> or Booker T. Hulk Hogan, I'm coming for you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Booker T. Shout out Booker T. Shout, shout out Booker T. And shout out H Town, man. H Town, I'm just going to go ahead on and say it right now, man. Um, I've been told Officer Friendly actually I ran into him the other day he pulled me on the side and he was like I'm, I'm gonna need it here this week and he apology you over? no I mean well <laughs> he, just, he stopped me while we were talking and uh, while we were walking and he said okay. I'm gonna need an apology for the city of Houston we are clutch city again hmm. I feel like the Astros made a, a they had a very clutch performance in the World Series and uh, congratulations shout out honestly I've said it that podcast I'll say it again the Astros have always been my favorite baseball team so it's not even like I'm um, I was rooting against them. I was rooting for the Astros. Houston's turned up right now. We we about to go hit this parade in a minute. Uh, the 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 celebration parade, or at least I'm gonna try to be there. Um, so just you know, shout out to to the Astros for winning the title. And um, Houston, I don't think that necessarily makes you clutch city again. Mm-hmm. But with the good luck comes the bad luck because Deshaun Watson tore his ACL like the next day. Um, Roger, I, I heard you had a theory on this. I'm a little curious about it. Yeah, now people are gonna think I'm crazy, but um, and I know I was gonna be uh, sharing my my crazy conspiracy theories, but um, you know, New Orleans, Katrina, Super Bowl, you know, even New England, nine eleven, I'm sorry, New York, nine eleven, Super Bowl, Houston, the flood, whatever. Who, who was it? Harvey, Harvey, World Series. So I just think that I, I'm not I'm not saying I'm not I'm not that's not really how I feel, but I think either one or two things was gonna happen, just by fate I guess let's call it fate. I think either Deshaun Watson was gonna win the Super Bowl or at least get real close, or Houston was gonna win the World Series because you can't control everything. <laughs> so I think if I think if Let's say if the 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 Astros would have lost Game Seven, the Dodgers in the World Series, then I think Deshaun Watson don't get hurt. I'm just it just by fate. So I got two questions in rebuttal. The first question I would say is if that if the Dodgers won, would you have been like, oh, it's because of the wildfires, and then then they would have just like so you could find a reason anytime. That's for one, and for no, two, because I like I like. Well, like for I two, you, Los no. Angeles is always lit. Okay. <laughs> no pun intended. Super pun intended. So my other thing would be, uh, so since you have that theory, do you also think that there's no pictures of the earth from the outside, so that's why it's flat? There's no Kyrie. Picture, pictures Kyrie of the earth smooth. from the outside? Yeah, yeah, Kyrie smooth. Um, like, I'm just asking if there, you think... There are pictures from the outside of the earth. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I've that's what Kyrie them. said this week in, to further Kyrie his theory. Is, but I, I have Kyrie a question for you. Another weird. question, Raj. To get you to think, okay, yeah, come on, and just answer us all once. I just want to hear it all. I'm just interested. I feel like there should be a. I, uh, I've entertained that notion before, but I feel like there should be a statute of limitations on that. Katrina hit one time for New Orleans. We love that city. It's beautiful. That hit what 05? We won like the 09, 09 season. Like, does that still can count as a? We we're down, you know. It still never got back to what it was, the city, but. Does that still count as we won because of that? That was like, what, years? Good question, Rod. What do you mean? Statue. Just what do you mean? Hey, what four you... years later. It was four years later. Oh, no, 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 no. The year after we went to the NFC Championship game. So I'm not necessarily saying that Deshaun Watson would have won the Super Bowl. Again, I did say that, but I don't mean that he would have won the Super Bowl. I just mean he would have given them enough promise to change the fortunes of the Houston Texans because they've sucked for a long time. So he would have just given the city promise. And then now, okay, so like Houston Houston football is a big thing now. Houston strong. So in 2006, in 2006, because Katrina hit in 05, right? In 06, the Saints went to the NFC Championship game against the Bears. And in my opinion, if you watch that game, they should have won. It snowed. 
we would have won that game. Yeah, when Reggie game. Bush caught that 89-yard screen pass and took that thing to the house, I felt like we was going to go to the Super Bowl that year. 100% thought we was going to win that game. Marcus Golston fumbled. Shout out Marcus Golston. But, you know. Things happen, man. So that's my answer. Okay. It's, it's interesting. It's, I mean, I, I hear people run that. They run that story, that story a lot, that when something happens in the city, they're going to win. But, like, the way I thought about it, you said the 9-11 stuff. When 9-11 happened, New York Yankees didn't win, though. They lost in the championship to the Arizona Diamondbacks. So I remember sitting there thinking, like, if it was really rigged. Win? But I guess they got there, so I guess that's did part the of it. <laughs> the Giants win? I don't even know if the Giants won in 2000. In 2000. That don't even sound right to me. <laughs> in 2001. Oh, it has to be 2001. Let's look. No, the Giants That's did not win no Super Bowl in 2001. That was a long time ago. Well, I don't know who won it in 2001. None of them did. I think I think we we Somebody. caught you in a lie. Don't, maybe don't, maybe don't. okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think we. I mean, because I'm pretty sure the Ravens won in 2000, and then like um, it damn sure wasn't the the Giants didn't win until Eli and Eli didn't even get in the league until 04. Yeah, man, that's ridiculous. You you probably talking about the Yankees and they didn't win, but we're not gonna. I'm gonna let y'all Google it while I go on to the next thing because 2012. 2012. In 08. In 08. <laughs> That's seven years after nine. Oh, they won for the the eleventh anniversary. Of 9/11. <laughs> <laughs> the 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 eleventh anniversary season, Cutting. Um, it is what it is. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna push up. We we're gonna push up a little bit quick on the agenda today because I know my two house guests got um. Uh, they got to go to the same barbershop I was at and go get fly in a minute. So, we're going to try to push up and get these last couple One of topics moving. Shout out Prosperity. The Giants, the Giants made the Super Bowl in 2001. I just want to say it, but okay, cool. They got blanked by the um, Ravens. But time out. That's cool. They made it. Wait, they made time it. Out, Raj. They lost. Both instances you said they, got, they lost. That's not a reward for losing. <laughs> that is. It's cool. They got there, you know. Wouldn't they they even control be, everything, man. But wouldn't that they be a big blow, blow to our confidence as a city? We already doing bad. We think no, we got hope our team going to win, but we lose. Now, making it to the Super Bowl is, is just as important. That's as a big deal. I, I, I feel like the, the most happiest I ever been. I'm be happy. Go ahead. What you say, Raj? I said if the Saints make it to the Super Bowl this year and lose, I'm going to be happy. Like, I'm going to be like, all right, I got some promise for next year. Cut. The happiest I ever been was when the Saints kicked that field goal to make it to the Super Bowl. Like, as a Saints fan. Like, I was like, we're going to the Super Bowl. Like, winning the Super Bowl was kind of like, I was kind of like numb to it. You, and weren't, I, you and weren't there. I had actually you were told there, my, but you're not there. Yeah, I had <laughs> told my ACL, so I was off them perkies. So, the full future made it fashionable. Yeah, right? yeah, I was on them perks, like, for real. Okay, a couple of other things. NFL, they told our weekly NFL update. We're going to have our two weekly updates on our way up out of here this week. And um, our two weekly updates, the first one is about um, our NFL protests. We always kind of got it to see where it is. And this week, the most recent turn was Papa John's owner and CEO, founder and CEO, John Schnatterner, said the NFL has hurt us. We are disappointed in the NFL and his leadership did not resolve this. Leadership starts at the top, and this is an example of poor leadership. They should have nipped this anthem protest in the bud a year and a half ago, and then we wouldn't be losing money. So he's mad because Papa John's stock has been down 8.5% um, this week. And with that, he lost $70 billion because he owns 25% of the stock in Papa John's. So he's, if 70 million is 25%, that means he's probably up over, well, I mean, that's not, that's just his, his um, assets in the company. Anyway, they said his, his, his net worth is over hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, 800 million. 800 billion is what he made, is what he's worth. Yep. And he lost 70 billion. So he lost about 10% of his net worth. Um, and he's just wilding on them boys. So. I just think it's whack that, um, and he came out and said that it's because he's an NFL sponsor. He's like the official food chain, the official pizza chain of the NFL. And we hear a lot about Papa John's. What are your initial thoughts on it? And I'm going to ask some other questions. What's your initial thoughts? Anybody could grab it. Well, my initial thoughts is, on Papa John's sake, I can see why they would be mad, I guess, just on some business stuff. Nobody's watching you, dumping dollars into advertising. It makes sense. But, you know, flag on the play with the comment. Is that necessary? But I will say, I am happy about, I guess, them taking focus away from advertising. They might can focus on recipe because it's, it's not it's not up to par. <laughs> you said Papa John's not gas. No. I do like the garlic butter, though. Oh, man. Y'all, y'all, okay. I'm a, I'm a fan of, I like, I, I like Papa John's. Do you? 
I mean, we'll get to that in a split second. I and I'm gonna definitely. I ask just think that it's question. crazy. So here's my here's my number one. Here's my number one. And it's and it is what it is. But it's all about the Benjamins. That's what this all is about now. This has become. This is not even about a cause anymore. It's all about money now. Everybody's complaining about money. We we trying to we trying to fight the power. But it's all about money. Mm. People losing money, so people getting mad. They gonna say some shit. You so, lose ten percent of your net. If I lose ten percent of my net worth right now, which ain't gonna be that much, <laughs> I'm gonna be mad. Okay, question though. Like, really, can you attribute it to the fact that the NFL is down? Is that why Papa John's is selling pizza? That sounds like a huge scapegoat. Like, I just think I think that there's I think that you you have to you have to poke and prod at something. You know, like what is my oh so my my tomatoes ain't as good as they used to be. Uh. Oh my my secret sauce ain't secret no more. Like what it it gotta be something. I think as a former uh, sales rep, you know, we used to try to push to potential customers. That's a real thing, you know. Uh, the power of advertisement is real. So I mean, views down. You, you I mean you got your thing, your uh, advertisement on the airways. So I mean, that would correlate, I think, in a uh, maybe profit loss. What I think is live is that all of the other pizza companies are like. Ganging up against them and going on social media and making little posts, like they always they, that's what they do. Have you not noticed? They Have on you not the seen ass. chains go ham at each other <laughs> all the time. <laughs> and boys had a unintended. Uh, the journals had a little post that had like a pizza and then it had a little stock going up and it said the journals and then it had pizza and stock going down <laughs> with Papa John's cutting. Like that's how we coming, cutting. <laughs> Boy, like mom and pops was coming out talking about, hey, look. We'll, we'll we'll take NFL. You looking for new sponsors? Look, we'll we'll, we'll hop right. down. Like that's crazy that other people and I would definitely do it if I was in there. Kick a man when and he's Pizza had tried the power play, huh? With the uh, sign our boy Cap on board. Well, hold up, I missed that. Yeah. What happened? Pizza tried to sign Kaepernick as a spokesperson, I believe. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I did that's, not even know that took place. Papa Pizza had super supreme. Okay, so look, we we talking about it. Where does Papa John's fall in the pizza pecking order of pizza food chains? Cause Raj just said he's not anti. He's not anti. You guys said you're anti. I mean, give me your I, top. I, I mean, off top of your head, top three. There's really only three players. Okay, honestly. then go five. Top five pizza chains. I'll start with mine while y'all think. I'll let y'all think because. I, I didn't think about it, but I pretty much know right off the top of my head. I am actually like Roger. I like getting that um that that extra pepper and that garlic sauce. I actually like Papa John's. I'm not I'm not like like so Papa it's, John's. It's number one for you. <sighs> Domino's reinvented themselves, and I like yeah, how and I like how buttery and um Do you, and, and that garlicky. and that garlicky they bread is. Do you remember when Domino's had the bubbles? Yeah. It, it was horrible. Top, but you're right. Domino's there. used to be ass, but yes. um, when they switched from Domino's pizza to Domino's, the type of pizzas that I like, it's just it's okay. Anyway, anyway, my favorite pizza chain, and I don't even know if we could call it that, and I don't even know if it gets in the. It's Blaze Pizza because you get to make your own, and you can. And I'm just a huge fan of that oven baked in front of me Blaze Pizza. Okay. That's number one for me. Number two is Papa John's. Number three. Is Domino's Ooh. number four? Whoa. Is Pizza Hut? Wow. I'm, the, I'm just Whoa. not a huge Pizza Hut guy. Pizza. Little Caesars, none of those. And then I got some. I got some local ones, so I'm not gonna go mom and pops for like the fourth, the fifth. I mean, but I guess my fifth would just throw Little Caesars. I guess I don't know. I don't. I don't even eat that. So I guess I just got four. Yeah, man. I feel like we had the college playoff board. <laughs> I so uh, I so what disagree with in? your what I so disagree with your uh, with your uh, standings. You're, you're they haven't played anybody. Like, but uh, <laughs> first off, I think I'd have to go with uh, Pizza Hut. Mm. That that's that number one. Pizza Hut strength of schedule, consistency. <laughs> pizza Hut. I'm going. That's number one. <laughs> number two with the reinvention of Domino's. Like not just the pizza, the pasta. The chicken sandwiches, sandwiches, hmm. they got options. B, <laughs> they up there. Personally, which is my favorite, but it doesn't taste the best. But it's my favorite. But it comes in as three, taking my heart out of and putting my head in it. Personally, little seasons, man. 
I like Little Caesars. That's the struggle pizza. That's for po niggas. <laughs> yeah, that hey, shit man. drip, dog. Hot and ready. <laughs> drip oil. We just like, made the <laughs> point out still trying to get to the small nigga Hall of Fame. I'm still like, I'm still Mike Everson in, you know. One time you for Little Caesars. You can't be the small nigga Hall of Fame with pop with, uh, with uh, Little Caesars in your top. Hey, room. when me and my homeboys <laughs> hang out, I, a, a Little Caesars has never came in that household. The, there's never, the door has never rung with Little Caesars. I feel like Little Caesars only sells so one I'm type of pizza. Like, pizza, pizza. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> pizza, pizza. If they had, if there were, if there was food chains next to each other, pizza chains next to each other, it's like Pizza Hut, Papa John's, Domino's, uh, Little oh, Caesars. Damn, I forgot mine. Hungry Howie's up there too. If, I forgot about. Uh, 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 Blaze, um, Mama Mia's. You know if they're like all real, next real to quick, other, real quick. My fifth is Sabaro, but go ahead. Ooh. <laughs> I hate how you that might be my whole, my, my like, you know what, that's something that you need to you need to focus on by interrupting niggas. <laughs> so if Sabaro was next door to all of them places, I'm going to Sabaro. <laughs> Get the big slice. All them other ones, they all taste the same. Like if I go to a party, if I go to a party and a nigga like, hey, we got pizza coming through, I don't care where it come from. I don't care if it come from Papa John's. I'm going to be like, all right, cool. I'm going to eat it. I don't care if it come from Pizza Hut. I'm going to eat it. And it come from Domino's. I don't care. I'm going to eat it. But I've never sat down and ate chain pizza and said, damn, boy, this is some good ass pizza. So they all, they all like average to me. Okay. But hey, I'm, I'm so but happy thanks, I was able to hop in <laughs> and read no, your I'm mind. Not, I'm not happy. Viewers like <laughs> don't like that. Yeah, the viewers <laughs> don't like it. I think they like they it. What like you got, Graham Star? What you think? Pizza Hut, one hundred percent. I was a fan of, of Papa John's because they did it different. I feel like Papa John's is the only pizza chain that puts their meat before their cheese, or maybe I'm tripping. But doesn't it look like their cheese is sitting on top of the meat? Whereas other every other pizza chain, the meat is on top of the cheese. Pause. I've never analyzed my pizza. Yeah, I, know. I, I think you a little. Dive. I think you a little. I took a deep dive. I'm, I think oh you shit! Did the analytics. I'm That's fat. why I, I forgot. <laughs> like, I'm analytics. Doing, my bad. My bad. <laughs> my pizza. Uh, honestly, that is a reason. <laughs> what you're talking right now is a reason for me to choose my favorite pizza chain. Because if they put the meat under the cheese, I think I would rather a little blanket. A blanket of cheese sounds way better. <laughs> and, and so a that's my point. I used little, to like little. Papa John's because of this reason. Um, and obviously the garlic butter. But nah, Pizza <laughs> Hut, man. Butter. Super super supreme all day long, Pizza Hut. And Domino's but, has reinvented themselves. But aside from those three, there's no other pizza chains that really matter. <laughs> Sorry. But hold on. But let me, let me stop it right here. Because me and you actually live together. And we... I feel like... I feel like Papa John's was a delicacy to us because we could get that. Because it's pizza. expensive. It was. That's another but thing. But we could get that cinnamon, that pizza, cinnamon though. pizza though. He's saying cinnamon pizza over and over. Oh, the what stick? about that cinnamon pizza? Cause then we could go to Mr. Gaddy's if you want cinnamon pizza. Y'all well, need a little Caesar's? Man, I'm not talking. I mean, You're not feeling me though. <laughs> yeah, I, Rod. I'm not I talking think, about I don't know if twists. I could say this on the podcast, but we were high a lot <laughs> of the time, and the but cinnamon sticks cinnamon- was like, who doesn't want frosting? With cinnamon and sprinkles. But you didn't even need the frosting. I just remember Papa John. What I like about Papa John's pizza, and you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and say it now that Papa John's is probably my favorite out of all of them. So Papa John's, other than, other than Sabaro, Papa John's pizza be way more wet than them other pizzas. Everybody likes that. Well, it's like, it's like it Cardi B. Like it's the Cardi B pizza. <laughs> the Cardi B of pizza. Yeah. Good, good pussy pizza. Matter of fact, instead of signing, signing Kaepernick, they should sign Cardi B. Or they you should know? sign, or they should definitely the sign um, the game and call it Big Meat Pizza. <laughs> big Meat Pizza. That's wet. What, what kind pizza. you want? That Big Meat? Uh, kind of, I hate y'all. I hate everything y'all stand for. <laughs> But um yeah enough about them man I, I don't want to talk about Papa John no more um he need to he need to he need to calm down I will say this one other thing though I heard a very compelling like just I I, I, didn't, I heard just a little piece of it and I kind of went on in my head to where I think they were going with it which is this that um you got a lot of options with food now with Uber Eats and with um like any kind of like you could go to Yelp and order there you can do a whole um whatever the other one is I can't remember the one that everybody else uses um. But anyway, you got options to get food delivered to you. And with that being said, pizza used to be the only thing that you could get delivered like that. Like in Chinese. In Chinese food, yeah. I mean, I Some we're places. not racist, let's just say Asian Asian food. But the uh no, Chinese. <laughs> 
I meant what I said. The, you Darvish I pizza. I have Asian restaurant. I got Chinese pizza. <laughs> but either way, <laughs> my point is, now that you can get on Uber Eats and get like some pasta or like a little restaurant down the street, going to come deliver us uh, uh, um, some oxtails cutting like it really has made the the game to where that's probably why Papa John's is losing that money more so than an NFL protest it's because people got options and um I didn't really hear the end of the argument but I felt like when I heard the beginning of that argument coming that made sense to me that you're losing money because of that thing more than because of advertising and NFL protests and things of that nature was, Let me ask you miss? this. Um, just just to think, just to think back. Um, and and just just you know, just answer the question. Um, does Papa John's deliver? Yeah. Papa John's oh, yeah, delivers. Uh, okay. I mean, I'm just. Yeah, they I'm just here. All right. That's cool. Just. Yeah, because my fat ass is not about to drive out to get pizza. So, <laughs> so they deliver. We, that's but we used to yeah. have to drive to go get the Papa John's. Yeah, I don't know no Papa John's drivers. <laughs> I used to drive for Papa John's. No, I never heard of them. But they did used to deliver, so I don't know. Maybe they used they Uber Eats. I don't, I don't know how the game go. <laughs> they they, they um, subleased everything. Okay, last thing we want to talk about, I guess it's just our weekly um, a weekly Me Too update. Um, a listener kind of hit, hit me up this week and said, um, you guys keep talking about this Me Too and um, how different people are being accused of sexual harassment, sexual assault, and even in some cases rape. Um I mean, it's, it's, it's a big story about Hollywood, and we talked about our opinions last week about how it's kind of become a very um, pervasive... It's, it, it, it's happening so much that um, it's kind of people are being desensitized to it. And I'm going to give you four stories from this week, four different people. Not that, maybe a little bit of their story, but four different people. And I just want to get you guys' take on who you're the most, um, I don't know, shocked by and, um, and different things. So the first one was Dustin Hoffman. One time for um, Rain Man. Rain Man. <laughs> Rain Man. That's a classic. He said um, he was on The Graduate, too. So maybe yeah. it was Miss Robinson. Definitely, definitely, definitely. <laughs> he said, I'll never, uh, the chick said, I'll never forget. He moves back. He opens up my arms and he says, it would be a whole new body to explore. Then she said, I'm trying to go back to my pitch. Like she was trying to sell him something. And he said, I'm trying to talk. And, um, and I'm trying to talk about my play. Then Dustin Hoffman gets up and says he has to do some clothing shopping at a nearby hotel. And if I wanted to come. He like, come on, come on to this hotel nearby. And she didn't come. And somebody else said a similar story. So he has two sexual harassment charges because you can't do stuff like that at the workplace. I mean, just let's just be honest. At at my job, I can't go up to my co- co-worker and grab her um, and open up her arms and say, hmm, this will be a whole new body to explore. That is the definition of sexual harassment, and I don't have to take it. So, but that's, people were coming out with the Me Too about that. Um, Kevin Spacey. He um actually you know obviously uh what House of Cards right he had um, I said House of Cards with Kevin Spacey like Kevin Spacey's not in a million things like he's not this this movie is, this podcast is brought to you by my favorite movie of all time The Usual Suspects hmm. Verbal Kent AKA Kaiser Soze but um Kevin Spacey basically some guy said that he was seventeen Kevin Spacey was twenty one at the time they were in a hotel room Kevin Spacey pushed him on the bed and then started rubbing that meat on him that big meat. That Lemond, if you will, um, kind of laying on top of him and grinding on him with his clothes on, I think, and trying to get that man to smash. And the dude didn't want to smash. So, you know, sexual assault. He, he kind of put that meat on him. Um, and this was years later. Kevin Spacey came out and said, look, I don't talk about my personal life a lot. But shit, obviously, now y'all know I'm gay. Um, I don't really say that all the time. Um, and you know, boys, boys need to know that about me. And I was probably drunk and it was like 20 years ago. So I don't really remember somebody. I actually heard somebody online say it's the worst ever time for somebody to come out and say they're gay. Like he's just using it to get over on this particular scenario. I thought that that was an interesting take two more. Jeremy Piven. Oh, Ari Gold entourage. Our guy basically said, um, a young lady said he came up, um, which her tweet was actually member grabbing my boobies on the sofa without asking. Remember when I tried to leave, you grabbed me by the ass, looked at yourself in the mirror and said, what a beautiful couple we made. And um, he allegedly did that while they were on set of a movie. She got away, like just walked away. And then she um, told, complained to the, to the, to, to the people at the movies, at the, 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 whatever, what would you call it? The studio. And she took like a $7,000 severance package, a non-disclosure agreement to not talk about it. But now she's talking about it because me too. And um, finally, Andy Dick. A bunch of people coming out saying Andy Dick was like kissing him on the face, licking him on the face, humping on people on the sets. Um, and Andy Dick's response was, 
Dog, I'm, I'm Andy Dick. I'm weird as fuck. I've been weird Andy Dick for years. Like, you know that when you sign up for being in a movie with me. I lick everybody. I do wild stuff. My last name is Dick. Like, what do you think you're getting with me? So, out of those people, Rain Man, Kaiser Soze, Ari Gold, and Andy Dick, who's the most surprising this week? None of them. They all... Like, they all... They all skinless and shit um <laughs> but i'm glad that you said i'm glad that you said uh um kevin spacey with um house of cards i'm glad that you specifically said house of cards because there's actually been eight allegations of uh sexual harassment slash assault on the set of house of cards so they announced that 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 was going to be the last the sixth season they had 13 episodes already scheduled to appear for house of cards they canceled it hmm. because of that. But not the, at first they said at first they said that they were gonna they were gonna show him and that was gonna be the last season and then they suspended that season. Kevin Spacey that. nice at acting though. So just imagine, just imagine. Whenever we, I'm, I I never watch House of Cards, but just imagine how valuable that sixth season of House of Cards is gonna be like in a few years. Like, like you know what I'm saying? Like that's just gonna be like on the on the dark web. Huh. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's going to be out there. Somebody's going to get their hands on it. I, I'm quiet because, like Roger, none of this surprises me. Um, I, as I sit back and think about my life, how many charges... <laughs> God <laughs> damn! <laughs> so uh, we got somebody ready to tell it all. Uh, <laughs> no, I think you understand what yeah, I'm getting at. Too. That's dudes, man. That's dudes. They're famous. You just hear about it. Like, yeah, that's it. Can't go too deep into it, but yeah, yeah. It doesn't surprise me. They in the they in the um the American people with a billion dollars a billion dollars Hall of Fame. That's the difference. They in a, they not in the small town nigga Hall of Fame. They in the I got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame Hall of Fame. Dog. Yeah, it's a different type of fame, and you would you would say how you would act until people let you get away with acting however you want to act, and then it's kind of then the next question is. Is that a is that a thing? Would you do it? Would you not? I would like to think I wouldn't, but hey, hmm. the boys wilding out, man. The boys, me too. <laughs> yeah, I think like it all sucks. They like all like in the same boat. Like it's just like damn, shaking my head. <laughs> <laughs> but I will say, I do have a question though. Like with the uh, Kevin Spacey situation, for instance, we usually hear about him, like you know, like oh, it happens like way years ago, mm-hmm. years like. Are people seeking monetary gain from of those course. type of things or just trying to derail another person, I guess, just vertical I think, climb? Or? I think I, what it seems like to me, because you only get a certain amount of oh, time. Oh, time out. And like, let me say this too. Sorry, Raj. I also do want to say this too. Blocks. I don't want to be so heartless because I do hear those type of things are, you know, not something you just could come out with when, like, Sexual the next day. It's a, you know, I hear, you know, people handle that differently. Yeah. But my fault, Raj. Yeah, we. Oh, is that what, is that what, that's what you? Had yeah, to yeah. Jesus, he was, he was saying he wasn't okay, heartless. Cool. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, no, I, I, we we know you're not hard. If he was heartless, you'd be in the in the room with Tammy. Um, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you can cut that out if you want. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um. Anyway, I just think that that's their that's their like the whole Me Too movement is like like kneeling for the flag, like. It's not. It's not about oh, like let me let me gain some money. I think that there's some instances of it, and because I don't now, this is me. Maybe call me heartless if you want. I think that there's some instances of it where you can look at it as like 15 minutes of fame, because like you see, you have no more fame, so like you need to do something to stay relevant. So oh, let me accuse somebody that did something to me long ago, long ago. But whatever for the ones that's like actually like that means something. I think that they look at the whole Me Too movement as like kneeling for the like let me just bring awareness to it. Oh yeah, this dude did this to me twenty years ago. Like, okay, well now she said it, so it makes it easier for me to say it. This dude did this to me ten years ago. Mm-hmm. That's how. I, that's how. I, that's how I view. Gotcha. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it make a bunch of sense. Like I said, we're not gonna we're not gonna harp on it, but as more names come out and every time they have it, I guess we should do our due diligence to say who. If you didn't know, then then that's what's going on in these streets. Uh, Let's let's cue up that music for nothing nice to say. You know they say if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. If you can't say something nice, don't say nothing at all. Nothing nice to say, but I'll go nice. 
Well, since this is my birthday edition of the podcast, it feels like I got about two things to say this week. Um, the first one is going to be a little bit more serious. The second one is a little bit of levity, but it's just things that have been coming across my timeline on social media that I just felt a way about. The first one happened in the great state of Louisiana. We talk about Louisiana all the time. We love Louisiana. Louisiana is the home state, but they do some of the most ridiculous shit. This cat in New Orleans, Warren something or another, I can't even pronounce his last name. In 2015, two girls accused him of sexually harassing him. He goes into the interrogation room with police officers, grown-ups. He says, this is how I feel. If y'all think I did it, I know I didn't do it. So why don't you just give me a lawyer, dog? Because this is not what's up. The police did not stop to interrog- the interrogation. They did not get him a lawyer. They kept on and kept on and kept interrogating him for hours and hours and hours until he finally gave some statements that eventually got him convicted. So then when a public defender finally picks up his case a couple of years later or maybe a couple of months later, whatever, he says, my client clearly evoked his right for counsel. He said, I wanted a lawyer. They said, no, he didn't. He wanted a lawyer dog. Like he legit wanted a canine to come in and take his case. It went all the way up the courts of appeals, the trial courts, into the Louisiana Supreme Court, who eventually said if a suspect makes a reference to an attorney that is ambiguous or equivocal, the cessation of questioning is not required. All that to say that because the dude said, I want my lawyer, dog, they thought or didn't think, they know exactly damn well what he meant, But they took it to say, you know what? I'm going to try to stick it to this young brother just because. Now, I'm not going to get on my high horse and say that he might not have did the crime that he was committed of. I mean, that he was accused of or anything of that nature. It's just the point that I wonder if a white guy was in there and said, hey, man, I want my lawyer, man. Would they have got him a lawyer, man, and said that that was okay? If someone said, hey, hey, guy, I want want a lawyer, bro. Would they have got him a lawyer, bro? And that would have been okay? But a lawyer, dog, anything, anything, anything to try to hold us down, I think it's just the most interesting and ignorant thing that I heard this week. Um, and another thing that came across my timeline was about a dinner in Blanc. And what a dinner in Blanc is, I mean, I looked up the website. It says, at the last minute, the secret location is revealed to thousands of friends who all have been patiently waiting to learn where dinner or diner in Blanc is, where it'll take place. Thousands of people dressed in all white and conducting themselves with the greatest decorum, elegance, and etiquette all meet for a mass chic picnic in a public space. I've seen pictures of it before. I've seen people do it all the time. I think they all load up on a bus. They pay like 49 bucks to go ride up to some secret location and they eat dinner and they're getting their best. It kind of reminds me of Zulu Ball, how a whole bunch of people spend a bunch of money to get a table And then go party with people you don't know. I don't know what the fascination of partying with people you don't know is. And it's usually all of my little well-to-do friends who feel like that's a cool idea. I think it's lame. I'm not calling you lame. I think it's lame to party with people you don't know. I mean, you could just go get... get, Better yet, this is what you could do. You could go find out where the casino bus is picking up. And you can hop on the casino bus and ride to Lake Charles and go party with people you you don't know. Even I got a better idea. We could do... Lunch in nice. I think I'll do that. I'll put it on. Call it lunch in nice. You could pay me and I'll make some food for you. You could come to the crib, party with a whole bunch of people you don't know, and then have a great time. I might even come pick you up. I'm going to send an Uber for you. Shit, it actually kind of reminds me of what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Throwing a little party at the house where I got random people coming together to come meet. So maybe I shouldn't say anything about it. Because if I don't have nothing nice to say, I shouldn't say nothing at all. Hey, brothers, look, I know y'all could probably holler at the barber right now and tell him um, that y'all was still coming in town and traffic was bad and you probably good. (laughs) Already done, huh? (laughs) Man, appreciate having the actual um, Team Nice. Oh, one time for Team Nice. Shout out Team Nice. Appreciate for having us. Come with the Yamas and all that. (laughs) Raj, you got anything extra to add? Oh, I had a good time at Zulu Bowl. (laughs) <laughs> well we got no hey that's all i want to say well we're gonna have a we're gonna have a ball this weekend we're gonna turn it up for aldo nice um 3.5 man we we, we doing our thing this weekend man so uh um, shout out fellas it's been a pleasure this is graham store <laughs> signing out <laughs> <laughs> all right we'll catch y'all next week later rumble out Okay.
Oh, funny story behind it. Got the new Mac. Made friends with the uh, Apple associate. She said I was a college uh, student. Came with the deal. You got okay, two okay. Uh, that, I don't five know fingers, how... not for the five fingers. Yeah, it came with it, the love. <laughs> a high five. <laughs> with the love or the five fingers? Like, they got a difference. No, no, it wasn't a five finger. It was like the deal for college students. Oh, that's not the love. That's just the, oh, that's just the doing her nah, job, thought, what that is. Nah, yeah. But I'm not a college <laughs> student, so that's where the love that's, comes in. That's the doing your job. That's the kind of, that's the push one little button and say that I'm I get, a, I get in the movies every single time on the college student disco. Absolutely. <laughs> what? I didn't know they had I get that. the teacher discount and I don't teach no more. I ain't taught in four years. I still get every teacher discount available. That's too big. Cutting, that's how they do it. Hey, Roger, we're gonna we're gonna come in with that Tyrese video. Um, well, the audio of that man. Oh man, oh man, man, Iron Man, man. That that shit. <laughs> man, don't take my daughter, man. I mean, about to take Iron Man, daughter, man. <laughs> I didn't even do nothing, officer. Oh, officer, son. I play I for the I play for the son. Seahawks, player. Y'all ever heard this shit? <laughs> Yeah, my, my, name, my name, my name, Michael Bennett, man. My name, my name, my name, Jody. My name, Jody, man. Hey, sorry, Mr. Carter. Mm, yeah, we heard that a million I'm times, too. Uh, let you know that I, I love you and I miss you. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> That's that man's favorite little thing. Cutting, stop it. <laughs> All right, cutting. So, look, Jody just came in. Let's get popping, man. We, we,